Welcome back everybody, Gator the Legend here with you as always. I really didn't want to make a video this soon, but YouTube's really fucking pissing me off lately. If it's not one thing, it's a fucking another, and I finally had enough. So there are three things I really want to talk about today, and I guess it's best we handle them in chronological order. So the first thing has to do with iDubbbz TV. He recently put out a new content cop about rice gum and he titled it uh, that it's a content cop on Jake Paul and YouTube decided they were gonna remove it from trending because of that, because he pulled the old bait and switch because he was just trying to get some views. He could've got just as many views doing fucking rice gum's name in the title, if not more. He's fucking iDubbbz, he's fucking content cop. What the fuck is your problem, YouTube? Why the fuck are you fucking just being this goddamn petty over it? Put his shit back on trending. Well, it's probably too fucking like now even without your help on the trending board he still managed 12 million views in like a fucking day so go fuck yourself this is the biggest load of horse shit that's fucking happened and i wasn't going to make a video about that but then something else happened see i woke up this morning and i see a tweet that's been retweeted from that casey neistat guy or whatever he is i've never really watched his stuff uh, apparently he's a huge old big old youtuber uh where apparently one of his videos got demonetized because he was talking about the shooting in vegas now all he was doing was uh you know pulling up some awareness and trying to get some money to charity. He was taking 100% of the proceeds from any ads on his video and putting it towards that. So you would think, well, what's the issue here? That's a good thing. That's a positive thing that's happening. It doesn't cost anything of anybody. People watching, like, who cares if we see a fucking ad, especially if it's helping somebody. But that's not even the point. Even if it wasn't helping, what the fuck? I mean, uh, on, on the tweet that I saw, it looked like Casey Nastat took a, a, you know, a picture of him being demonetized and put it next to Jimmy Kimmel, who's talking about the same fucking topic. And I guarantee fucking tee you, he didn't do that video for free. And I guarantee fucking tee you that uh, the ads and everything everything like the money he made from the fucking ads on that didn't go 100% to the fucking charity but yet he's allowed to talk about it and have ads but Casey Neistat is not and neither is the rest of us like what the fuck YouTube like seriously this is some of the most fucked up hypocrisy I've ever seen in my fucking life and even with that being said those two things yeah you could sit here and rant about them all day long and everything but I wasn't going to I wasn't going to. It wasn't enough to really bother the gator to the point that he was going to sit down and make videos about each one of those. No, I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to do it. But here I am making a video. So you guys are probably asking, what was it, gator? What was it? What was the straw that broke the camel's back? What was it that made you go, you know what? I gotta make a fucking video. I gotta point out some of the bullshit YouTube thinks it can get away with lately. Well, as you guys know, I put out a video recently trying to advise old Rice Gum the correct way to respond to the content cop, which I'm pretty sure he's not going to. I think we're all, all aware of that. And, uh, it, you know, it's a typical Gator video. There's nothing too crazy about it. Um, and it just got fucking, uh, like, de-added or whatever you want to fucking call it. The adpocalypse has hit me hard. And I, I look at it, and it's got the little the little yellow dollar sign, meaning I'm only going to make, like, five cents on the fucking video instead of, like, the four dollars or whatever that I've earned. And I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck is different about that video than all my other videos? Like, what the fuck's the difference? So then I started looking through all my videos, and I see where I haven't received an email about this at all, but where they've gone down through, like, fucking 50 to, like, 70 of my fucking videos, and they have that little yellow dollar sign next to it. The old gator's barely making any fucking thing on these old videos, and I'm like, what the fuck? I don't understand what's so bad about the videos they're choosing compared to the other videos that they're not choosing. Now, I looked into it a little bit, and it says that my last video uh, had some, I guess, inappropriate language or inappropriate something or other that ads wouldn't really want to be on there. And, I, you know, I got to thinking, if, if you guys have been, uh, you know, following my channel, you'll notice that my outro on every fucking video for the past, like, 150 fucking videos goes a little bit something like this. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can I own a bit two dicks in my ass? Like seriously, that's some fucking, that's vulgar and it's cursing and it's kind of a little fucked up shit. But yet there's tons of videos where that song's at the end that have not had this happen to them. So I'm wondering what was it in the rice gum video I made? What was it that tipped the scale? Was it because I made fun of your beloved rice gum? Is that what it was? Because I was, you know, I wasn't really making fun. I was trying to help the guy, but I could see where it could be taken as making fun. So is that what it was? Is that what it was that made YouTube go, you know what, we're gonna go hit the gator and we're gonna hit the gator hard. We're gonna show the gator who's in charge. Knock him down a few pegs as if I was up a few pegs to fucking begin with. So I just wanna know that the, the hypocrisy of it all just doesn't make sense. I just want some consistency. All I'm asking for is some consistency in your decision making. 
Maybe I'm asking too much here, but I don't think so. But with the Casey Neistat thing and the the fucking Jimmy Kimmel thing, no consistency. And I have nothing against Jimmy Kimmel, you know, or whatever. That's just the fucking point that was being made. Th there's no consistency there. And then you look at my videos and the ones you're deciding not to show ads on and shit like that. There's no fucking consistency there. And then the shit with iDubs is just fucked up from the get-go. So I just don't understand what's going through your head. The people making these decisions. Like, what the fuck? Did you even watch iDubs video? I bet you didn't. If you did, you realize it's art. You realize how fantastic it is. And you would have fucking left it up there the way it was. There's a point being made. He's not really doing a bait and switch. He's not trying to pull people in with a Jake Paul name. He's iDubs fucking TV. He doesn't need to do a bait and switch. He doesn't need it. People are gonna watch his fucking videos because it's fucking awesome. Oh man. Like what the fuck do we have to do around here? I just don't fucking understand. YouTube's like a goddamn dictatorship. You guys just do and choose whatever the fuck you want. You don't explain anything. There's no sense into the shit that you're fucking doing. And then half the shit you do, you don't even warn us. We have to go out of our way to fucking find it and figure out that I've had half my fucking videos uh, removed ads from them or whatever. Like I just don't fucking understand it. Go fuck yourselves. Go fuck yourselves right in the arsh. And I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get any ads on this video either. Cause I said bitch fuck cock suck fucking fuck whatever man and I fucking cussed all my videos so I don't know maybe I will maybe I won't who fucking knows because it doesn't make any sense it's probably just based off the title it's probably the only thing you look at so I'll just name it happy lucky charms and uh, kisses and rainbows and umbrellas I don't fucking know man what the fuck I'm losing my goddamn mind here all right guys thanks for swinging by as always I've been the gator and you've been great peace oh I also wanted to let you guys know the old gator slipped another one past the goalie so I'm gonna have my third kid on the way boom I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? My meme, yeah. My meme, yeah.